Hello friends, hope you are doing great. In this video, we are discussing about the very important topic that is the life cycle of Plasmodium. So the Plasmodium, it is an endoparasite live in the blood of man and cause a disease known as malaria. The Plasmodium completes its life cycle into host, the man and the mosquito. So the man is the intermediate host and the mosquito is the primary host because the plasmodium completes its sexual reproduction in the mosquito but it completes the asexual reproduction in the man so it is a diagenic parasite it required human and mosquito for the completion of its life cycle so let's see the life cycle uh, the malaria the plasmodium cause a disease called malaria so there are three important species which are responsible for causing the disease known as malaria so the female anopheles mosquito act as a vector in transmitting the malaria symptoms includes high grade of fever and chills and come to the life cycle of plasmodium as i earlier told the plasmodium requires two hosts to complete its life cycle that is the man and the mosquito so it is a diagenic parasite so it requires mosquito for the completion of sexual reproduction and man for the completion of asexual reproduction so when a female anopheles mosquito abides a healthy human being it releases the plasmodium it is a parasite which causes a disease called malaria which lives in the body as a sporocyte it is a infectious form here we can observe how the mosquito the female anopheles mosquito bite the healthy human and here the movement of malaria parasite will be observed here we observe how the mosquito bites a healthy human so the biting of the female anopheles mosquitoes it sucks the blood from the human being and then along with that it releases saliva into the body so during that process what happens the malaria parasite which are present in the salivary gland of this mosquito they enter into the body fluid here we can observe how the malaria parasite enter into the human body here it is a mouth part of the female anopheles mosquito here yellow colored it is a malaria parasite here and here so the next the parasite multiplies asexually in the liver cells and finally bursts all the liver cells the sporozoites are released in the blood here we can observe the entry of the malaria parasite so here the kuffer cells and the hepatic cells these are the cells of the liver so it move along with the kuffer cells and enter into the hepatic cells the hepatic cells are responsible for the secretions of the bile but kuffer cell that fight against the foreign particles so the infected cells in the inside the infected cells the parasite reproduce asexually so here we can observe how it infect the liver cell and multiply to release the sporozoites so here the sporozoites enter and the merozoites are released so these merozoites are released by bursting the hepatic cell okay then the parasite entered the rbcs and further multiply here and finally bust the rbcs also here we can observe how this merozoites enter in the rbcs that is the it is a red blood cells by concave shaped red blood cells they entering the rbc so here also they reproduce asexually and multiply to form many uh, uh, different stages were observed during the or uh, in the inside the red blood cells so after that they destroy the red blood cells so they form like a jelly like structure so red blood cells are converted into a jelly like structure by bursting the uh, the red blood cells the uh, sporozoites are released out okay so the bursting of the rbc is accompanied by the release of toxic substance called hemozoin in the rbc only sporozoites change into gametocytes it's a sexual stage 
the gametocytes are the sexual stage which are present in the blood okay the gametocytes multiply when the deceased person is bitten by a, a female anopheles mosquito gametocytes are introduced into the mosquito the gametocyte fertilize and develop inside the intestine of the mosquito to form the sporozoites these sporozoites are stored in the salivary gland of mosquito and are released into the healthy person who is bitten by the mosquito okay here inside the mosquito we observe the gametocytes the male gametocytes and the female gametocytes it is the female gametocytes it is the male gametocytes the male gametocytes release a sperm which fertilizes the egg to form a diploid zygote the fusion of the haploid gametes to form the diploid zygote it converted into okinate okay then this okinate move into the wall of the gut here it is the wall of the gut so this okinate form a cyst like structure known as oocyst inside the cyst or oocyst it will multiply and form many sporozoites and many cell structures then the sporozoites are ruptured and released from the cyst and they get stored in the salivary gland it is a salivary gland of mosquito they are stored in the salivary gland when this mosquito bites the another healthy human these sporozoites enter the healthy human so they form the infectious stage okay here we can in this chart we can observe the complete life cycle of the plasmodium the life cycle in the mosquito life cycle in the human the sporozoites they enter into the liver in the liver they reproduce asexually and released as a merozoites in the liver they are released as a merozoites then they attack the healthy red blood cells and form a different stages known as ring stage trophozoic stage and then schizoid forms then by rupturing the rbcs they release it and they attack almost all the rbcs present in the blood so finally they converted into gametocytes when a when a mosquito sucks the blood of this infected person this gametocytes enter into the female mosquito so they in, uh, further development take place inside the mosquito so here we can observe mega gametocytes and micro gametocytes so inside the mosquito the gametocytes are differentiated the mega gametocytes are form a mega gamete and micro gametocytes form a micro gamete mega gametes are known as male gamete or my uh, female gamete sorry the mega gametes are known as a female gamete the micro gametes are known as male gametes this male gamete releases sperm they fuse with the egg to form a zygote the zygote is diploid the zygote is further developed into a, a okinate this okinate move into the gut of the mosquito and then they form a oocyst inside the oocyst the sporozoites are formed this sporozoite migrate into the salivary gland and then by busting the by uh, when this uh, healthy uh, this uh, mosquito bites the healthy person they are released into the a healthy human okay um here we can uh, study the the life cycle of plasmodium deeply so life cycle in the man so the life cycle of plasmodium in the man it is differentiated into a uh, three different stages that is pre erythrocytic cycle exo erythrocytic cycle and endo erythrocytic cycle erythrocytes means a red blood cells so pre exo erythrocytic cycle take place in the liver but the endo erythrocytic cycle take place in the rbc let's see one by one in the pre erythrocytic cycle in the pre erythrocytic cells what happen the sporozoites enter into the healthy liver cells so when they enter into the healthy liver cells so they reproduce rapidly by consuming the nutritive parts of the liver cells to form a, a round shaped structure known as cryptozoites the cryptozoites they undergo a special type of asexual reproduction known as schizogamy during this schizogamy the nucleus of the cryptozoites divides into thousand daughter nuclei it is followed by the division of the cytoplasm into thousand pieces 
each piece of cytoplasm encloses a single nu daughter nuclei resulting in the formation of cryptomerozoids so this is about the pre erythrocytic cycle when move to the endo exo erythrocytic cycle exo means outside the next further development okay so it is the exo erythrocytic cycle so the cryptomerozoids that enter the fresh liver cells here they grow rapidly and become spherical in shape so this stage is known as metacryptozoids okay this metacryptozoids undergo a schizogamy it is a type of asexual reproduction so result in the thousand daughter nuclei these are known as metacryptomerozoids the cryptomerozoids and metacryptomerozoids are formed finally so then they enter into the red blood cells such stage is known as endoerythrocytic cycle this merozoids that enter into the fresh red blood cells they enter into the fresh red blood cells inside the rbc that is red blood cells rbc inside the rbcs the parasite become rounded this stage is known as trophozoite here it grows and increases its size and become a ring like structure grow and increase in size and form a ring like structure known as signet ring it has a vacuole inside it okay after some time the vacuole disappear and the parasite develop a pseudopodia so at this stage the parasite is called as amoeboid stage so it feed and content of the rbcs in this stage it feed the content of the rbcs the parasite secrete digest enzymes known as hemozoin so it remains scattered in the cytoplasm as a parasite when feeding stop when the feeding stop the pseudopodia are disappear the parasite become rounded this stage is known as schizoid the stage is known as schizoid the schizoid contain a single nuclei the schizoid contain a single nuclei and the hemozoin pigment in the cytoplasm then the schizoid undergo schizogamy during the schizogamy the nucleus of the cytoplasm divide into 24 daughter nuclei this is known as merozoids then it form a merozoids so the merozoids are released in the blood by rupturing the rbcs okay the merozoids are released in the blood by rupturing of the rbcs again this merozoids again attack the healthy red blood cells so after several generation they converted into gametocytes and the further development take place inside the female anaphylix mosquito so it's the life cycle or in the mosquito the life cycle of plasmodium in the mosquito okay so they differentiate it as a micro gametocytes and the mega gametocyte the plasmodium undergo sexual reproduction in the female anaphylis mosquito so it is known as a primary host okay so here the female anaphylis mosquito act as a vector here the female anaphylis mosquito act as a vector here the micro gametocytes the nucleus divides into 6 to 8 here the nuclei divide into 6 to 8 daughter nuclei the daughter nuclei are arranged in a peripheral manner periphery of the gametocyte the cytoplasm grows into a 6 to 8 long flagella like structure each nuclei moves in the flagellum like structure here each nuclei move into the flagellum like structure each flagellum like structure is called microgamete here each flagellum like structure is known as microgamete the microgamete break off from the microgametocytes by a violent movement the formation of the microgamete from the microgametocyte this process is known as x flagellation this process is known as x flagellation so the microgametes exhibit a gliding movement inside the lumen of the gut of gut then go to the mega gametocyte the mega gametocyte gives out a small site mitoplasmic projection so it is known as a fertilization cone when microgamete enter into the egg by the region known as fertilization cone it fertilizes the egg in the region known as fertilization cone the fusion of male and female gamete take place this process is known as fertilization or syngamy 
so the zygote is spherical in shape here zygote is spherical in shape and diploid in number it consists of 2n number of chromosomes and non motile it become a elongated a spindle shaped structure known as okinate the okinate penetrated into the wall of the gut and form a cyst inside the cyst the okinate divide to form a sporozoids the sporozoids are released and stored in the salivary gland of the mosquito when they bite a healthy human the sporozoids are released into the healthy human this is the a complete life cycle of plasmodium in human and the mosquito thank you thank you for your attention